Welcome to the Wealth Simple Masterclass. Welcome to the Wealth Simple Masterclass. Yeah. Welcome to the Wealth Simple Masterclass. Come on, Nick. You're about to become an investing genius. Now, if you're watching this, you're at least a little curious about the stock market. Maybe that's because you want to have more money for your retirement or a dream home. And maybe you still want to leave those kids a grand inheritance. Or maybe you realize that saying, I'm buying weed stocks every time your friends bring up investing is starting to grow old. Now, the stock market is a place where companies like Apple sell tiny pieces of themselves to raise money for all sorts of things inventing new products, building new factories, expanding to new countries, or hiring more people. And anyone, you, me, can buy those pieces. So when a company in the stock market makes money, everyone who owns a piece of that company profits too. Are you still wondering how the value of a stock is determined? What those little green and red up and down arrows scrolling across the bottom of financial news programs mean? Don't worry, we got you. I got you. I have you in the palm of my hands. Basically, the price or value of each stock is determined by the buyers and sellers in the market, meaning the last price that someone was willing to sell it or buy it for. And if good news happens, like a drug company gets a, a cool new drug approved that reverses hair loss, stock price should go up. If bad news happens, like the company's CEO and founder gets arrested for embezzlement, the price of the stock will likely go down. Obviously, it has its ups and its downs. But if you look at its progress over the last 130 years, you'll see the stock market has pretty much always grown up and to the right. There, whichever way right is for you. Which has resulted in more cool technology, more new jobs, more life-saving medicine, and you know, more of all the important stuff like uh, Tickle Me Elmo's and fidget spinners, Real Housewives shows, and everything else we enjoy. All told, we like to think of the stock market as a reflection of human progress, which means if you think humans will keep inventing, keep making, keep selling, and keep buying things, then the stock market might be a good thing for you to invest in. Come on, stay with it. This is your masterclass, man. Stay with it.